in knowledge. So let's continue. In verse 9, For this reason, since the day we heard about you, we have not stopped praying for you. We continually ask God to fill you with the knowledge of His will through all the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives, so that you may live a life worthy of the Lord and please Him in every way, bearing fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to His glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience, and giving joyful thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of His holy people in the kingdom of light. Okay, Paul is known for kind of these run-on sentences. I, I don't know. I'm not an English expert, but it certainly could have been split up to a couple sentences at least here. Um, so there's a lot to swallow there. But I think what stuck out to me um, is this idea that we need the strength and power of God to be able to have endurance for this for this marathon of faith in Jesus. Um, that it's not... It's not just about having a good start. It's not just about having um, uh, a, a strong uh, momentum at the beginning, but it's about being able to endure all the way to the end. Being able to, um, like I said, have the strength and the power to make it through to the end with your faith still. Because a lot of people can find a lot of reasons to give up. And certainly there will be seasons in our lives where we might feel like giving up. And, and maybe, honestly, we, we might actually give up sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's still a marathon. And as long as you have breath in your lungs, as long as you have thoughts entering your mind, you have the opportunity to make a choice today to choose Jesus, to put your faith in Jesus again um, into life. And this is where we continue here. Once you were alienated from God and were enemies in your minds because of your evil behavior. What, that's the end of the sentence. But now he has reconciled you by Christ's physical body through death to present you holy in his sight without blemish and free from accusation. If you continue in your faith, that's there's that endurance factor, right? If you continue in your faith, established and firm, and do not move from the hope held out in the gospel. This is the gospel that you heard, and that has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven, and of which I, Paul, have become a servant. So again, there's that endurance factor, that it's not just about starting well and having all this momentum when you start, having all this passion, which is awesome. But it matters that you're also enduring through the middle portion and all the way to the end, if anything, to finish strong. So this is a marathon. And it's about continuing in your faith, not moving from the hope held out in the gospel, as Paul says. And lastly, I think this is the last section that 